Okay. Welcome, Kenneth Brown here. I want to talk about something conceptual about passing that initio, right? It's one of the positions that people have a lot of problems with. And I think there's some concepts that can kind of help you identify some courses of action, some strategies, some tactics to get through. So let's just go into it. One of the things that most people think about when they look at this position is, like uh, if you look at very common like defensive structures that have like elbows inside, they're framing, trying to control his arm because they're, they're really trying to focus on preventing the cross face, preventing the forward pressure, right? Because they, they don't want guys like, ah, uh, get into the head. Um, and they, they always think that, or at least conceptual or like common stretch strategy for approaching it is to drive into the guy and try to flatten them out or try to control the head and smash. But the way I look at it is a little different. I look at it like a, it's an angle battle, right? So I don't really, like, so let's go into it real quick. So he's kind of, you know, super defensive blocking, and he's trying to monitor his arm. He doesn't want me to get to the head. And I'm not trying to get to the head, personally. Like, for me, I think of it more about focus around this leg. So this bottom leg is what's really controlling the position. The top leg is just a shield. It's kind of blocking me from driving in. But like the structure of the position is focused on the bottom leg. So like if I pin the bottom leg down, I can lift my knee. If I lift the bottom knee up, I can shift the hips. So like even if he has like this, he has a defensive structure, like he's he's blocking his elbows inside his knee, all that stuff, you know. And I'm trying to get in, I can't get in, all that, you know, basic stuff. But if I think about this as an angle battle first and just start pulling up, he can try to stop it. The frames can try to stop it. He can try to stop it. But right here, he lost position, right? I just force a destruction of his whole position, right? This is just a simple concept, you know, and there's all kinds of different ways to apply it. You know, he's, again, defensive structure. Here, tight. You might even have collar, you know, all that fun stuff. But cupping the outside knee, even stepping up, just stepping up. Right here, he can try to like regard all that stuff. But I forced him out of knee show. Yeah. And I'm not really talking about passing, I'm just talking about this concept of destroying the, the strength of the position. Right? So it's only a fight. But if I lift, he's already lost position. And then you can go into various passes off of this. So this is going to be like a really small lesson. Um, I think it's helpful because it's been helpful to me. And also, man, if you're curious about the, the passes that can flow off of creating that scenario, creating that angle, man, I just posted some, I just added some lessons to my micro adjustment you know, course on BJJ Canvas where I just break down a, a passing series for uh, drilling against that situation and increasing your ability to finish more often. All right, so check it out.